everybody, and welcome to How to Make Your Wife Happy and Healthy. In today's episode, we're taking on an American classic, but it's going to take quite a while to cook, so you better start early. What is it? Well, come on, let's get cooking. Shout out goes to Bob's Bob Kitchen, Kitchen Adventure. Go over to his channel. The links are down below. He has a very wonderful take on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that is done Monte Cristo style, as well as a very nice turkey wrap done Italian style, which is very flavorful. I know, because I tried it. Today, for my mom's kitchen, we're getting ready to make a pot roast. This day, we're going to use the old method the stove and the oven. Here are the ingredients. A three pound chuck roast, two tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, three cloves of garlic, two cups of beef broth, one cup of red wine, the chief stuff is fine, one bay leaf, two pounds of potatoes, six carrots. Before we begin, set your oven to 350 degrees. My pot is large. I've also taken out all the racks except for the bottom one. Start by heating up your pot to high heat. While you're waiting for the pot to get ready, salt and pepper the beef. Convert salt on both sides of the beef as well as the pepper. Always salt and pepper to your own taste. Now that the pot's gotten nice and hot, we're going to add our one tablespoon of oil and let it heat up before putting in the beef. No oil is hot where you can move it around quite easily. A little more time. You want it hot enough so when you first put in the beef, it sizzles when you put it in. If it doesn't sizzle when you put it in, the oil wasn't hot enough. As it moves around, the oil moves really freely, so it's time to put in the beef. Get a sizzle. Let it cook on this side for about three minutes. Okay, it's looking nice and brown and seared on the first side, so let's go ahead and flip it over. It's been about three minutes. You can see a nice searing that happened. Now it's what you're looking for. Cut up your mince on the side. While that's getting ready, you can chop up your garlic, grate your garlic, get it really fine, and get it ready to put in. When both sides are nicely done, so we're going to take it out. To the one side. The other side, very nicely browned. Look at that. Now we're going to add in our garlic. Once you put in the garlic, you want to have the wine ready to deglaze the pan. See all the brown bits? We're going to take it off with the wine. We're also going to turn down the heat. It's a little too hot. I like to grate my garlic directly in the pan that way. None of it gets wasted in the pot beforehand. Whatever dish you're putting the garlic in first. 
Do we need to smell the garlic? And then we're going to add in the wine so we can help deglaze the pan. Takes about a minute. I've got the garlic smell going. So I'm going to put in the wine. Full cup of red wine. To deglaze the pan. Once you've done that, if you scrape the bottom, you'll now see and feel there's no more brown bits at the bottom. We're going to turn the heat back up so we can get the pot boiling again. We're going to put in our beef to get it nice and simmering. It's got the garlic. Now the recipe is icy, usually called for onion. Since my family is not a big fan of onion, we leave it out. But if you want to put in an onion and cook it before the garlic, that also adds lots of flavor to the beef pot roast. Now I'm going to add the two cups of beef broth. It's time for an epic food pack. With Daddy! You notice I was adding plain water. Then from there, we're going to add the beef granules. You can see that hack in a special own video where I do it with a different plan, a different sauce. I always put the water in and then the granules. This way, you're not going to lose any granule flavor when you put it into a separate bowl beforehand. Also, one less dish to clean up. Always helps out whoever's cleaning up your dishes, even if it's you. We're going to let that boil. They're going to put the beef back in. Okay, the sauce has gotten to a nice bowl. We're going to turn it down to simmer, put the beef in, cover it, and then put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about one and a half hours. Okay, we've got our pot with the beef in it. Set the oven at 350. Set it inside. I'm going to cook it for one and a half hours. The beef has been cooking for about an hour, so it's time to prepare the potatoes and carrots. We're going to peel the potatoes, peel the carrots, then we're going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. I like to peel my potatoes and carrots directly to the trash can. Just be sure you don't let it slip out of your hands. Now that the carrots are all peeled and washed, time to cut them up. Potatoes once you finish cutting them up. Now we're going to add carrots to it. Now that the carrots have been peeled and washed, time to cut them up to bite sides as well. Most people cut off the tops and bottoms before they cut the carrots for eating. The carrots and potatoes ready to put into the beef dish. An hour and a half is up, so we gotta take out the roast and add the potatoes and the carrots. I'm gonna add a bay leaf to it. I was supposed to add it earlier, but I'm gonna add it now instead. And we're cooking it for another hour. Now that the beef is cooked for an hour and a half, we're gonna put the vegetables in. Then we're gonna cook for another hour. In a future video, I'll show you how to make the exact same dish, except with the meal teapot. All in all, this dish should take you about 
Oh, three, three and a half hours to finish. Most of the time, though, you're starting to cook in the oven. It's an Instapot, and it's going to cut your cooking time in over half. Okay, I added a bay leaf to the pot, and I've added some carrots and potatoes to it. So we can put it back in the oven and cook till these are tender. Same 350 degrees. It's going to take about another hour to get it all tender and cooked and ready to eat. Set the timer for another hour, and I'm going to put the pot back in. Make sure you're using oven mitts to handle it. Your pot's going to be really hot. Okay, the pot is finished. Time to go out and take a look at it. Okay, you can smell the wonderful aroma. Now it's time to make sure the potatoes are nice and soft. Knife slides right in the potatoes. That means they are nice and soft. Carrots too. It's ready to take out and carve up. Got to be careful when taking out the beef. It's going to be hot. The pot will be really hot too. So be very careful when you're taking it out. It's been cooking for a long time. So it should be nice and tender. Let's take a look. Those tender cuts of well done beef. Our family deserves the beef and the vegetables separately. I'm just going to pour some juice on the beef. Time to put the beef dish onto the table. And let's take the vegetables out and put them into a dish as well. Oh, there's a missing piece of beef. The meat is more tender than usual. Mm. And why does the sauce taste good? You made this before, right? With the same kind of meat? Maybe. Might be a slightly different cut. Hmm. And only soft carrots taste good. The potatoes are always good. No matter what sauce. Since you made it this far, go ahead and surprise that like button, just like my daughter was surprised for the flavor of her pot roast. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays. And just to mess with people who didn't get to the outro and watch it all the way through, please include the word popcorn in your comment below to be included in my random drawing for shout out in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.